What is going on guys, it's Dylan from GamingConsoles.com Today is going to be a quick review of the Xbox One Series S Is it still worth it in 2020 considering the Xbox Series X is so close to being released? I personally bought this Christmas last year and I'm in love with the console But is it right for you? Boom, let's get right to it so the first thing you're going to immediately notice about a console is it's 40% smaller than the original fat Xbox One and weighs in around 6.4 pounds and as you can see in the video here I can easily pick it up with one hand, no problem. Now for me personally I'm really really fond of the gorgeous futuristic white design as you can see these little indents you can see right into the fan right into the electronics I think it's gorgeous design personally this looks a lot better than the original Xbox One it looked kind of like a black 360 and the white and the black contrast so well as you can see complete on the other side of the Xbox One S it's all black got really gorgeous futuristic expensive finish and considering this is 2020 and this came out I think in 2016 it looks it looks good now and it looked even better back then Okay, so from left to right you have all the necessary ports you're going to need for your console. Most importantly, you have the power plug-in. In the power plug, all the power is internal in the Xbox One S, so no need for this massive meaty brick like you found in your Xbox One, original one and your Xbox 360. You have HDMI, HDMI out, which is used to plug into your TV. You have HDMI in, which is used to plug into a satellite or cable. You have a couple of USB 3.0 ports and you have a cable lock which is used to lock into your xbox for you know bike lock stuff like that so at the front of the console on the far right you have the xbox one power button so obviously you press that turn it on and the little button to the left next to the disc tray is of course is the disc tray so you click that it ejects the disc and because all the disc trays are internal you simply whenever you want to put a game in you put it very gently just you know be smooth with it Put the disc in and the xbox will take it out and obviously anytime you need to eject it you just press the button and boom now the xbox one s supports uhd blu-ray so any blu-ray disc you can easily play into your xbox one s and it supports hdr video so and it actually outputs in videos in 4k so any youtube videos you want to watch any Netflix videos and you yes to say for example you've got a 4k TV but it doesn't have Netflix inbuilt then boom you can simply stream true 4k into your Xbox One S and it looks absolutely gorgeous one of the best things is in terms of gameplay it actually upscales games into 4k now this won't be true 4k like, like the Xbox One Series X which is still to this day the most powerful console but upscale 4k games still look absolutely gorgeous and they're sight to behold especially if you have a 4k TV now if you don't have a 4k TV it will upscale 1080p so your 1080p game will still look that much more crispy now the Xbox One S controller you get together with the bundle I personally think it's one of my most favourite controllers ever Now the new and improved version gives you a 3.5mm headphone jack so you can put in your own headsets what have you directly into the Xbox One which allows you to listen to music which allows you to listen to game audio completely from your headphone the one before this didn't have this I personally love this controller I prefer it to the DualShock 4 in many different ways the, the controller has really good first person shooter specified trigger button so if you look at the LT so like R2 is normally how you shoot with the DualShock 4 but personally with the LT trigger with the Xbox One it's just so much better for first person shooting games and you find that especially when you press the LT boom the trigger releases so then you can you know Xbox One players have an advantage over PS4 players simply because their controller is just much more suited to fighting games now everything feels exactly responsive, you've got everything you need, you need. you've got two different sticks, you got the D-pad, you got the X, Y, B, A buttons and everything works exactly how it should. Now the controller has a special mesh that protects against sweats because you know no one's don't, you don't want to be out here with sweaty hands on the Xbox One controller. And like I said it's got Bluetooth up to 40 feet and I just think it's an absolutely fantastic, fantastic controller. One of the biggest issues I have with the controller is come from Microsoft. It's there in the modern times, it's 2020 and we're still using AA battery to recharge our controllers. I mean like bro, I remember this stuff back in the day with the Game Boy Advance. Microsoft fix up. Of course there are third party options you can buy but obviously it should be uh, out of the box, it should be a rechargeable controller. But what can you do, you still get 30 hours out of two fresh AA batteries which is a bit of a pain buying battery so I'd recommend buying a third party so it saves you the hassle. 
Now I saved the best to last because the Xbox One Game Pass is, I think, the biggest deal in gaming. You get 100 plus games in the Netflix Live subscription service where you can download them and play them to your heart's content. The best thing is this includes AAA Microsoft Studio games. So let's say for example Halo, when Halo Infinite comes out this year, boom, the second it comes out, it will be available to download on Xbox Game Pass. For something like $10 a month, you get so much value. Genuinely, you never have to buy a game ever again because there's so many games on Xbox Game Pass that I'm never even going to play. And these aren't just any, you know, normal games. These are AAA exclusive games. These are ARK games. There's so much variety. And this is it's just amazing. So, the ultimate question. Do I recommend you to buy Xbox One S? Yes or no? Well, honestly, I bought it in December a couple months ago and I'm absolutely in love with the console. You got appreciate for a small price of $179, sorry, $225, £179, you are getting a fantastic gaming console that has you have access to Xbox Game Pass, which has a hundred gives you access to hundred plus games on one subscription, meaning you never have to buy a physical game again. You get access to a fantastic Xbox Live experience, it's a lot better in my opinion than PlayStation and you just get a superb console with a fantastic controller the only issue i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend buying is just to say you're someone who's going to buy the xbox one series x which is going to be the most strongest most powerful console ever that's going to be released sometime in the holiday season this year together with ps5 if you see yourself as someone who's going to buy that on day one then i would be hesitant to recommend xbox series s simply because you know it's only six months or so and we'll be in the holiday season anyways However, if you sell someone like me, and even if you just want to really have a really fantastic, powerful, yeah, affordable console in the meantime before Xbox One S comes out, then I highly recommend you buy one. I'm looking to purchase the Xbox One Series X on game day as soon as it's released. But that's the fact is, the Xbox One S is still a fantastic console. You should just sell it on eBay, boom, keep a bit of money. But I absolutely love the Xbox Series X. You can just, it's just sexy. It's affordable and it's reasonably powerful. It's a fantastic way to consume media because you can stream. You can stream 4K Netflix. You can stream using your Blu-ray DVD player. You just—it's just a fantastic multimedia device in conjunction with an amazing console. So that's my review. Thank you so much for listening. This is Dylan from GamingConsoles.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take a look at the link below to buy an Xbox One S straight from Amazon. Thank you so much for listening and goodbye.